So does anyone know what this is? It's an incentive spirometer. So what do you have? You have the mouthpiece, you have the tubing, you have the handle, you have the piston, which is the blue piece inside, and then you have this flow meter right here, this little blue piece that's gonna float up. And then you even have this little gauge. So why do people use this? A lot of times we'll use this post-surgery. So after surgery, think about it. Even if you had a belly surgery, chest surgery, I had back surgery and I had to use this because I was under anesthesia for a long time, which is another indication. Or if you're gonna be in bed for a while uh, recovering, you wanna make sure you use this. And the reason is when you don't take deep breaths, the bottom of your lung doesn't get the air. So what happens? Those pockets of lungs collapse. So they collapse and what will happen is you can get pneumonia and you'll also have trouble coughing up mucus. Well, that's not good because that can cause a bacterial pneumonia, fevers, and that's a post-operative complication that we don't want you to have. So I'm sure a lot of you have had this before. Uh, I can't stress how important this is uh, to use eight times per hour uh, while you're awake until your doctor says, all right, you're, you're doing well, you're up and about, you're breathing fine and uh, there's no fevers after surgery. So what does this help you do? So this helps you practice how to take slow, deep breaths, which is really important after surgery. It also helps to exercise your lungs after surgery and makes them stronger. Like I said before, it lowers your risk of getting an infection after surgery, and it helps you clear out the mucus that might build up in your lungs. So how do you use one of these things? Well, I'm gonna show you. You sit at the edge of a chair or bed, upright, of course, and you want this to be eye level right here and uh, this thing's gonna go in your mouth. So before you put this on your mouth, you blow out all your air, you wrap your lips around here, don't put your tongue inside because that's gonna block it. And then what you'll see is this indicator is gonna come up, but you want it to be between these two arrows, all right? Because if you go, if it goes up here, that means you're breathing too fast. And if it stays down here, it means you're breathing way too slow. Um, and you wanna see how high you can get this piston to go up. And once you get it as high as you can, you hold your breath, and the piston's gonna come back down, and then you blow out your air, and you do it again. So you're gonna repeat that then, and see how you can get it. And you do that about eight to 10 times. Uh, and then maybe that day, you mark and say, all right, I, I only got to a, a, a thousand mLs of air uh, that I was able to inhale. But maybe the next day, you'll get up to 1250. So it really just depends. Um, and this is, this is your handle. You hold like a beer mug. When you're inhaling, you want that piston to come all the way down before you start taking another breath. You don't want to cheat and start taking another breath while it's coming from up here and then stop in midway because then you're always going to hit the top, but that doesn't really mean anything. So you want it to come all the way down. So um, I put this in my mouth, so I'm going to blow out and I'm going to wrap my mouth around this and then I'm going to take an uh, inhalation and you'll see this go up. And while it's coming down, I'm just trying to hold my breath as long as I possibly can, and then I blow out, and I'll do it again. So that was a good one. I got it up to 2,000 mLs, and you want to keep it in between these blue arrows right here. So you do that about 8 to 10 times, and uh, that's what this is used for.